My name is Anya Montiel, and I'm the curator of All That Remains, Material Remembrances and Love and Loss at the Yale Institute of Sacred Music. The show is about the universal experiences of love, loss, and remembrance. I have gathered together three artists, Rick Barto, Louis DeSoto, and Judith Lowry. Rick Barto has works that talk about the dream world as well as this world and how his lost loved ones are always connected to him through dreams as well as through his art. Judith Lowry has large narrative paintings that talk about people who have passed away in her family. Through her paintings, her relatives are kept alive and these tragedies are never forgotten. The work behind me is called Par Nirvana Self-Portrait by Louis DeSoto. When the artist's father passed away, it was such an inconsolable loss that DeSoto started to contemplate his own death. As a Buddhist, he thought about Par Nirvana or the Great Liberation, where Buddha reaches transcendence. He also looked at the large stone sculpture of the reclining Buddha at Galvihara in Sri Lanka. And so in creating his own work, he calls it Para Nirvana or the large liberation. It is a 26 foot long inflatable sculpture that is kept alive through an internal fan. And throughout the day, it is breathing and kept alive. But at the end of the day, it is unplugged. It takes its last breath and then it slowly falls into the floor, reaching its material death. At the start of the next day, it is then replugged and then inflated. So it goes through the entire cycle of birth, death, and then rebirth.